She's a witch. You better watch her, son. She's a witch. She's gonna get it done. She's got connections to just about everything. She's a witch. She's got that girl power. She's a witch. This here's a witch and I She's got a rock collection And a second hand silver ring If you wanna learn something She's got any kind of candle That you can use Honey, you might burn something If you sit and listen for a spell or two She's got that old magic Plus a little bit of something new She's a witch And I want to be one too Ain't no trick Go on and take a card Take your pick Come on, it ain't that hard you seem a little scared of maybe hearing something true So if you want to burn something She's got any kind of candle that you could use And honey, you might learn something If you sit and listen for a spell or two She's got that old magic Plus a little bit of something new She's a witch And I want to be one too She's a witch And I want to be one too Whoa, that's a Molly Griffin tune for you there Going up with a bullet on this Halloween night now listen to me, Ma. Listen to me, everybody. It's horror. <laughs> it's terror. Tonight and every night for me, Ma. <laughs> because it's exposure. Yeah. You want to try it. <laughs> horror. <laughs> terror. And what's the name of the show? Halloween. It's uh, Halloween. No, Halloween Tales. Halloween Tales, Season of Witch. We're going to learn all about Halloween tonight. Are we? You know, I way. think there's some relationship between Sam Hill, which was a bad thing. You know, it's like the devil, mm -hmm. and Sam Hain. Mm. Sam Hain is the original name for Halloween. Yeah. It's the Hallows, Hallowed Evening. Yeah. It's praising all the Celtic saints. Yeah. It's not just that. I better not say everything or that'll be all the tales. <laughs> it's, but I'll tell you what we are doing tonight. This is what I was supposed to say at the beginning. But doing? the terror and the horror. What are we doing? We're thinning the veil oh. between life and death. Oh. We're thinning the veil between life and death because Sam Hain is coming. Mm -hmm. What's his real? Salmon? Sawin. Sawin. He's coming. Oh, yeah. Sawin. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I know. It's confusing. Thinning the veil. Yeah. That's why we got to put on our masks, which I will do. Oh, should I do it? Uh, the rays are so dark, though, Ma. Yeah, but they look cool. Of course you got, don't you? Huh? Yeah, you. Well, I got <laughs> some makeup on. Yeah. I don't want to. This is a podcast. On. Live from on. the Broly Room Studios. It's a really big old time radio medicine show. Do you want to wear these instead? Because I don't think I'm going to wear them. That's what. I like what I look like. Well, what do you think? <laughs> how, which one is scarier then? That one's good. You look good. That looks well, I don't want to look good. I want to look like I'm in terror. That's what you look like. You look like a spooky, creepy sort of scientist guy. All right, Mom. Well, I thought that was a John Prime song, but that's your song, isn't it? Yeah, that's my song. So it sounds a little bit like John Prime. Yeah. It's folk. Whatever kind of song you want from me, Mom. Mm -hmm. You just lock me on in a room with YouTube yeah. with songs like that. Yeah. From big old stars. Yeah. And my brain will just lock onto it. Yeah. I'm sort of like that, too. That's why I can write novelty songs. That's thinning the veil. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, that's, um, 
that's what Halloween at the core yeah. is all about. Yeah. You got to get your mask on. Yeah. Because you don't want Sam to recognize you. Yeah. Because he's gonna coming to get everybody. Because you know why, Mom? Why? Not the kids. Oh. He might take the kids just to get at the parents. <laughs> Eat them or something. <laughs> but I always love children, deep pride. Now, um, because everybody's guilty. Oh. <laughs> you got to watch out for <laughs> Sam. <laughs> He's like the new sheriff in town. Yeah. So get your mask on. Okay. And be thankfully, you don't have to do this shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's a podcast. We gotta take a spooky ride. Yep. Because there's an old black Cadillac curse waiting just outside. And from now on, it's Sam talking. Not me. He's talking through me, Mo. Oh. And he says, just go on outside the door to your mind. And jump in the old black Cadillac anymore. It's just outside the door to your mind. Hearse, it's a hearse. Yeah, oh yeah, it's your, I knew a guy who had a hearse. <laughs> <laughs> he lived in. He come uh. up to the west coast where we were fishing, and he lived in the back of that hearse. And what he liked doing is at night, he'd wait till a couple of girls were walking down the road. Yeah. And then he'd pop up. <laughs> <laughs> had a coffin in the back. You know. <laughs> Angus McLeod was his name. Uh. He was a Scot. <laughs> Very dysfunctional family, I think. Yeah. And they always get the, you know. Like me? Yeah. <laughs> interesting people. Yeah. Mentally ill, interesting people. <laughs> Are we all? Okay, hold it now. We're gonna take a ride. 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 Up as a honky tone. Up as a honky tone. And the Halloween party there. All through the amber ways of green. Through the ways of green. And past the uh, city limits sign. Oh, through the dairy farms and the dairy cows, and they're all dressed up like spooky days. <laughs> because they're, sa- and all the pigs, they're sowins. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to the county line road. To the country road. The old country road. They're going to take you home, oh, the country road. Oh, she's a spooky road down the girlies road on the Halloween. I'm an old drag queen. Until somebody sees the big old tower. 50,000 watts. Station GHRT. GHRT. Is it for you and me? Oh, Brought to you by Alice's Restaurant. Ooh. You can get anything Ooh. you want. Anything you want at a restaurant. Check this out now. Ooh, witchy women. Pull in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, we're pulling in the parking lot, Mom. We're getting all, all pulling out of the limo. Yeah. All at the same time, there's about 15 billion limos in there. Yeah. Because that's how many uh, viewers we got now, Mom. About 15 billion last time I heard. And they can all afford limos. Yep. We're going to go in there and, and be ha- dressed up like a black kitty, sort of like you. Mm-hmm. Only a little bit more risque. I thought she'd be a sexy witch. Okay, sexy witch. All right. <laughs> That's good. We'll go with that. It's Betty Page. <laughs> yeah. And Charles Darwin, he's looking pretty cool, too. He's a sexy witch, too. Well, he just looks like himself. <laughs> and it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we got the existentialists in there. Kant, Dostoevsky, they're looking real good. Looking like Dracula. Looking like the Russian zo- guy. Looking like zombies. <laughs> yeah. Because they're right. dead. Well, the German guy's a zombie and the Russian guy's a Dracula. Ah, yes. They're going to give you your special ta- tea oh, and send you on downstairs. down to you and me. For the old psychedelic prairie home companion. Uh, down here in the Brother Room Studios, a really big old time radio show. <laughs> Three <laughs> chords of the truth. Starring Molly in the middle and her old dog, dude. Ooh, and Reverend Dr. 
Captain Joey G. Coming to you live from Station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind. Where the show oh, starts hello. in five minutes. And we don't spin the tunes on the turntable, we spin them on our souls. So kick back, chill out, and relax to the mellow sounds of the Do the monster DJ. mash. Hey, do the monster mash. They got on in a flag. Got on in a flag. We'll do the monster mash. I was working in my lab Late one night when my eyes beheld that eerie sight He did the mash He <laughs> did the monster mash <laughs> Okay, grab the pig A pig's ass is pork, did you know that, Mom? <laughs> I did Pig's ass I did You know what that means, Mom? <laughs> it means It's got a lot to do with our saying uh, Everything is a thing Yeah like some guy mouths off about what he can do and all that kind of yeah. shit, right? Well, that's the old thing. It's kind of like all hat, no kettle. Yeah. 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 It's a long way from a pig's ass to a nice ham. Yeah. It's a long way. Yeah. Now listen, first you got to kill a pig. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Got to hire somebody to <laughs> do that. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it. No. Okay. Yes, I could. If you had. But I was hungry. Could. Yeah. It's about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't want to step. It's Halloween. What the hell are we talking <laughs> about that crap for? Uh, uh, what am I, oh, I was going to say, oh, yeah, I wrote that on the spot there. Yeah, you wrote the Monster Mash on the <laughs> yeah, spot. <right>. <laughs> <laughs> totally different uh, everything, Yeah. pretty much, except the words. I got some of the words, didn't I? Yeah. He did. did the mash. He did the Monster Mash. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it the correct way one year, Mom. Yeah. So they could check that. Because there's 15 billion, so maybe one or two might want to do it. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Why have you got this crap up here? Oh, I that's the know. opener. You, you put Woo-hoo. it there. You put it there. <laughs> Hallows. Holy Saints evening. New Year's Day. For the Celts, and that would be me. Is it New Year's New Year's for them? Yeah. Huh. And as a that. matter of fact, I want to tell you, you know, because they got, like, mixed up in there between Norway and Ireland, right? Mm-hmm. That's why I got all that different shit in there. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody thinks that the Vikings were barbaric swine dogs, you know that? Mm-hmm. It's bullshit. Yeah. They were, like, very intelligent mm-hmm. before the times. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And they weren't all that big. They all think they were monsters. They never had any helmets. Mm-hmm. That's, like, all bullshit. But what they did have was really nice combs <laughs> and razors. Yeah, they grew. And they were, like, really into hygiene. Yeah. And they worked under hair a lot. Yes, they did have beards uh-huh. and hair, mm-hmm. but they took care of them. Yeah, every huh. Saturday. Did they? Yeah. Oh, you know. Yeah. Well, you probably <laughs> said, right, because this shit is all new to me, Paul. <laughs> I just remember them with clubs beating each other, but I bet they were, like, pretty, they, you know, they're probably pretty sophisticated in their way they did that. I think they scared the shit out of everybody and sent them running before they ever had to fight. That's yeah. what I would do. Yeah. I That's think they, they paid monks to, like, spread the word about them. And yeah, like do that. as much as you can without actually yeah. <laughs> hurting anybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's that got to do with Halloween? I don't know. I got <laughs> carried <laughs> off because I was talking about the Irish and the Celts and this stuff. Yeah. And I think it's all mixed up. Yeah. Uh, we'll okay. go have a look at Odin next. On they don't have all the days that the Irish got, though, because oh. I, I, I saw it. There's four different days. Uh, let's sing a song. Okay. Or we'll have the whole story told. Do you want to sing back when? Because we're talking about back when. Uh, I'll try, Mo. We don't have to. We can sing whatever you want. I don't know. You said it was no good. It's on our list. Don't you remember? No, I don't. Can you like give me the first couple of words? Don't you remember? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't you remember the phase in a pepper? Peanuts in a bottle at ten to and four. A fried bologna sandwich, mayo and tomato, sitting around that table. It don't happen much anymore. It's gotten too complicated. It's all way over. I like the old and outdated real life. 
back when a hole was a hole. Coke was still in coke, and you know cracks what you were doing. You were cracking jokes back when a screw was a screw. The wind was all that blue, and you know when you said I'm down with that, meant you had the flu. I miss back when, you know I miss back when, oh miss back when. I love my record, black and shiny line, clicks and pops and the white noise, man, they sounded fine. You just keep playing the right chords. Mm-hmm. My favorite stations, the ones who played them all, country, soul, rock and roll, what happened to those times? It's a street slang for dummies. They put the pop in my country. Taylor, I want more for my money. Way it was back when, back when a hoe was a hoe. Coke was still in coke, and you know cracks what you were doing. You were cracking jokes back when a screw was a screw. The wind was all that blue, and you know when you said I'm down with that, meant you had the flu. I miss back when, you know I miss back when. Oh, I miss back when. Hey, don't you miss back when? We all miss back when. Shit, we miss back when. Miss back when. Ah, now I got myself all sadded up. Hey, <coughs> you know what I got to say about that? What? That is what I have to say about that. Yeah. That is what I feel mm-hmm. about that. Mm-hmm. That's what I meant to say the first time, but <laughs> you know, the terror <laughs> of the exposure. Yeah. It, it's northern exposure, Mom. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> northern exposure. It's the terror of the Halloween evening. Mm-hmm. The Halloween evening. Do you know that nicotine doesn't kill you? What? I got a lot of truth it's on this show. It's all the other stuff in cigarettes that kills yeah, you? Yeah, and it's mainly the manufactured shit that yeah. they pump with all these things. Yeah. You see, you get the pure tobacco. Yeah, that makes more sense. So you listen up, kid. Cause if you're going to smoke, you got to go get a real tobacco leaf and roll that up like a good, a good you can buy a good Cuban cigar, or any cigar, I guess. Mm-hmm. Apparently the um, other ones down there are just as good as Cubans, yeah. but they're not as famous. Uh-huh. What's the other place? Uh, it's another Fruit. one. I don't know. I'm too scared to say. Look it up. They're cheaper. <laughs> Now, what was I talking about? Oh, oh, yeah. Because what's with the comment? Yeah. She used to have a cigar. Uh, at least, I don't know. I didn't say how many, but yeah. she had a cigar. Or like and that. those other guys that lived to like 115, they were all l- worked on the railroad yeah. and had cigars. Yeah. What's Win- going on there? I think, you, I think you need a little bit of nicotine. I know a Japanese <laughs> surgeon. He was like 103 or something, still practicing. Yeah. And he had, oh, that was iodine. <laughs> I thought it had something to do with nicotine. <laughs> Something he took every day, and I went, yeah. hey, I can get that through the nicotine. <laughs> 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 That's good, isn't it, Mom? Yeah, get it through the nicotine. Found love. Loving the nicotine. Hey, have you got no more? We're supposed to be getting into, you know, the Irish thing, Mom. Oh, the well. fairies. What about the fairies? Let's <laughs> sing a song. <laughs> we just sang it. Okay. <laughs> All you got down here are slow ones, so I don't want to. 
Uh, what spooky mad? ones have we got? That's what we need. Well I got. I think I might have a spooky one. Okay. What What are you gonna say? No, you say yours. No, you say yours. Well, my, I always think of the Johnny Cash. And That's what. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 because it's kind of spooky. Yeah. Going uh, down. And is it Hank Snow after? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are our two spookiest songs. Yeah, I know. I wonder how fast. You better stay still for a minute. Okay. How fast do you want to go? That's pretty good. Well, I met her accidentally in St. Paul, Minnesota. Told me up every time I heard that draw to tell them draw. Oh, you took my dream back downstream to board me in Davenport. And then I followed you, Big River, when you called. You big river when you go. Slow for you, Mom. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you took me to St. Louis later on down the river. Rita said she's been here, boy, but she's gone, boy, she's gone. Well, I found her trail in Memphis. She just walked up the block. She raised a few eyebrows. She went down along.
keep shoveling coal, keep rattling old, keep moving on. Oh. Box guys too, Ma. I've been in them, uh, riding through the night through yeah. the tunnels and the crap. Yeah. Spooky, yeah. Spooky in there because there's you know ghosts. Yeah, is it of dead guys that were riding around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever ta- was. You ever talked to any? Speaking of ghosts, what about the fairies? What about the fairies? Well, the fairies come out at the Sam Hell. Yeah. Sam, Sam Hain. Hain. Yeah. Why Everything. don't you just name that kid Sam Hain? <laughs> Sam Hain, whatever your last name is gonna be. Yeah. Kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> no, you can't do it because all the Irish people will think you're insane. <laughs> no, Walking I around the house with some guy named Sam <laughs> Hain. They got to keep on their masks all the time. I don't think Sam Hain's bad, is he? He was just there. The reasons the fairies came uh-huh. from the other side. Uh-huh. You know, the dead end of town, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. Uh, it was to thin the veil there, and to to so the livestock didn't die mm-hmm. in the winter, the long, cold, dark winters. Oh. And that's where I think you'll find that the Norwegian and the Irish thing all ends up with these middle. Yeah. You have a look. Winter things. You know, I don't know anything about this, but if you have a look, I think I can feel it out. Mm-hmm. I got the, I can feel what they were doing because it is m- in my DNA. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Totes. So if it makes sense to me, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Horror. Woo! All right. Is that enough? Have we told the whole story of the Halloween? Now? Yeah. Well, I was gonna say I think the cool thing about it is that that's the Celtic tradition is that it's the thin veil, but that's actually consistent throughout all things. And you know, of course, when the English come along with Christianity or whatever. Or Italians, or whoever it was, mm-hmm. uh, probably all went for shit. They called it all pagan horse shit, and they said that's no good. Don't mm-hmm. do that. It's just something else. But they. Uh, like we're gonna hang all <laughs> you witches. <laughs> You're out of here because we got doctors now. And these sons of bitches are tougher than you. Well, no, I think the <laughs> I think the Christian <laughs> thing is why it became a spooky thing. I don't think it was so much like that's a negative thing. That's what I'm trying thing. to say, yeah. Mal. That's exactly. I know, but they still let them celebrate it because if. If they didn't let them celebrate some of their old things, it wouldn't have caught on. They did after we fought for it. First they shot us and hung us. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who went trick-or-treating. <laughs> <laughs> first British house. <laughs> 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 or th- no, they slit their throat like Jack the Ripper. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you are getting Tween. Spooky. Dad, but don't you think it's interesting that all the, all the cultures think it's a thin time? It's a thin time between life and death? Oh. They all have like a Halloween thing at the same well, time. Well, they've all got a certain amount of sensitivity and empathy, right? And the more stronger it is, the more they feel the veil. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying it must be true then. You also got the Imbolc. You got the Sam Hain. Yeah. On uh, August 31st to um, 24 hours till the 1st of November. Oh. So you could actually say the 1st of November because your other one there is in May. Mm-hmm. No, February. And I want to celebrate that one because it's very close to Groundhog Day. Okay. It's called Imboic. Oh. But it might not sound like that at all. It might be Imboa. Are you sure Bua. it's Imboic? Or is it, I thought it was Imboic. Is it an L or is it an I? Are you right? Well, I wrote it down, you know. Well, you can check. <laughs> I don't really care. What is it? What are you <laughs> celebrating? <laughs> I don't know. End of winter, I guess. Huh. But I think May is the one where you really get excited. Yeah. Because that's when everybody starts doing it. <laughs> of course, they were all those long, dark winters. Yeah. You know what they had to do? 
The guy even talked about this in there. They were forced to face themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. I said, yeah, and they were forced to do some other shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get him off your sister. <laughs> no, they didn't. They st- I think they did a little bit of that at the beginning and really got some bad stuff, and they just stopped. Yeah. They made it a law. Yeah. I think they're the, the worst for that now. That's why you had all the good-looking Norwegians. <laughs> <laughs> Humphrey careful. Bogart, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Bet you not many people know that, do they? No. Norwegians. You know, there's only less than the population of uh, Chicago. Yeah, I believe that. You ever seen the Winter Olympics? Yeah. The r- ranks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole world. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. A lot of other things okay, in the I'm world, too. Okay, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm bragging. Yeah, it's know. a braggadash you. Yeah. Well, everybody does it about their own yeah. thing. You know, if it, you got it. I think it's good. I think What about that East it. Indian guy at the lecture last night? Mm-hmm. He was showing off. Yeah. Took the whole show. Yeah. I know another East Indian guy when I was a kid that did that. Mm-hmm. It was a public speaking contest. Mm-hmm. An old man, Hundel, I can remember his name. Brian Hundel. Mm-hmm. Holy crap, he brought down the house. He's something about like the power of being. It was a positive thinking thing. Yeah. And man, could that guy do it? <laughs> you know, it's because they get boys get treated pretty special. Yeah. Because he seemed to have like self-esteem plus. Yeah. They, uh, yeah. That seems to be pretty common. Okay. What now? Time for one last. Uh, oh one shit! Last you know what? We gotta have dancing in the dark ready for tomorrow night. Okay. I swear to God, dancing in the dark, mm-hmm. Halloween, mm-hmm. wake up yeah. and die right. That's what my old man used to say. Wake up and die right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about um, pig's ass is pork too? What about uh, uh, don't let don't let me die? He had a because million little Halloween. things. I think they all came from <laughs> the old country. What? Don't let me die. Okay. It's a little spooky. Because this has been really sad. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's the heaviest podcast uh, within podcast. Well, there's a podcast about us. Is there on there? Yeah. Have you have you heard of it? You're no. a big podcast person, right? No. I never seen him before. The only pod I know about is the one that you're. I that am. Yeah. <laughs> you're the pod. You're the only pod around. I'm Be- a pod just like person. two peas in a pod, Mom. You know, it's family family show. <laughs> two peas in a pod. <laughs> Three. Hey. Three people on the show now. There you is. can talk to the suits about money. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. <coughs> what was I talking about? Um, podcast that's about us. Right. What is it called? Cocaine and rhinestones. Oh, I've listened to that. I listened to that one. Well, we're the real thing <laughs> that they're talking about. <laughs> it's a good one. It's really good. I know, but none of those guys have done as much as me. <laughs> no way, except maybe uh. the dead ones. Well, they're all dead. <laughs> There's some pretty crazy <laughs> stories on there. Yeah, there is, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll never listen to them. <laughs> You'd probably like it. It's good. I'll tell you about Wh- something about Waylon Jennings, though. Yeah. Tom Snyder used to be a big late-night show host. And he was ne- my best friend's uh, favorite, mm-hmm. Tom Snyder. He was really slick, really sharp. New York guy, I think. And he had Waylon on. Yeah. And it was an hour show, and only the real, real big guys got an hour. Yeah. Right? But they had tried to get him on, tried to get him on, but he said, no, not unless I'm the only guest. Yeah. An hour. I get an hour. Yeah. And, you know, country music isn't that popular, you yeah. know, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he had had a movie. Yeah. yeah. I saw it. I didn't care for it too much because it was right beside the your cheating heart. Right. With uh, Hank Williams Jr. soundtrack and um, George Hamilton was the leading man who played Hank. Yeah. I just really liked it because Hank Jr. did such a good job of that soundtrack. Eh? Yeah. I was going, I was fighting with people about he was he better than yeah. better than his dad. Yeah. Oh yeah, way better. Now listen, now I sort of like his. Words. Now I sort of like his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's got more uh, hurt yeah. in his voice. Right? Yeah, more raw. And, of course, he wrote them. That counts. Yeah. 
What am I talking about again? The story's on there, and then what? Waylon Jennings. Oh, Waylon Jennings on Tom Snyder, right? Got an hour long. Uh, yeah, right. So he goes on there, and oh, she was big in the day. She was like Dr. Ruth, only heavier, more professional, but mm-hmm. she was very famous too. Probably a you know Russian from mm-hmm. New York. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> big psychiatrist, mm-hmm. and she was on. Fr- oh, oh, he finally accepted a half hour. Okay. You see, they broke yeah. it in half depending on how big you were. Yeah. And he so he finally caved for a half hour one because it would be really good for him, a big huge coverage. Mm-hmm. And he went there, and Tom is really getting into it, and he used to really get into it. She was first. Mm-hmm. She was on, but so he got the last. He got on the last. That's a bonus. Yeah, I think. Leaves it in the memories of the people. Whatever. I don't know. Tom is getting into it with the big psychiatrist woman, mm-hmm. and starts going over. Mm. into Whalen's time. Yeah. Yeah. He looked over at Jesse Coulter and said, uh, let's go. Yeah. They walked out. I don't blame Tom, him. <laughs> Tom Snyder was left with 20 minutes of time. He did, you know, I'm sure Tom probably enjoyed it because yeah, he was yeah, like yeah. a funny guy himself. But yeah. he must have felt a little bit weird. He, he said, uh, Whalen Jennings just walked out on me. He's yeah, smoking yeah. it. <laughs> I thought maybe that's why everybody's so crazy about him nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. I actually respect that. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think that was a... Next time I'll tell you about him and Buddy Holly. He played bass for Buddy. Oh, yeah, I think I knew that. But you don't know some of the shit I know. Would you have done that, Dad? Would you have walked out? Because, you know, I watch YouTube. Dad. (laughs) What? Would you have walked out? I never would have took it for less than an hour. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> That's where he went wrong. Yeah. See, that hold your goddamn ground, yeah. Waylon. Next time, yeah. Hold your ground. Hold your ground like Sturgill Simpson. <laughs> Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Prime time spot. He never had a song on the radio, as far as I know. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't even sing country. He didn't sing his uh, end of the line there. End of the line. I'm down the end of the line. We better go, Dad. We are at the end of the line. Well, what song are we supposed to sing? We're supposed to sing Don't Let Me Die. Don't let me die. Is that it? (laughs) Oh. I've been having these disturbing dreams. Final day, the end of May. For some odd reason. I get one last wish And every time I wish for this Take me fast or take me slow I don't really care just how I go In the daylight or in the dark Just don't let me die of a broken heart Kind of pain you just can't take Send a strong man to his grave There ain't no pill that can bring you rest Or fill that hole deep in your chest Take me fast or take me slow I don't really care just how I go In the daylight or in the dark just don't let me die of a broken heart Take me fast or take me slow I don't really care how I go In the daylight or in the dark Just don't let me die of a broken heart Take me fast or take me slow I don't really care just how I go in the daylight or in the dark Just don't let me die of a broken heart Don't let me die of a broken heart I swear to God it's a show about us, Ma. Because we're the real outlaws. Yeah. Oh, yes. We're not doing business with Wall Street, no. Except that what they own, uh, everything they own on the internet. 
take me fast or take me slow. I don't really care just how I go, but I think I left off a verse. Yeah, that's okay. Because <laughs> it was getting late and everybody was yelling, screaming. <laughs> so now it's time Aww. for the... Uh, did You You should have had something spooky on this, sir. Mm, he is spooky. Spooky all on his own. Yeah. You could show his um, scrotum. <laughs> it's kind of spooky. It's black. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your nose. <laughs> and your nose. Wrapping by the scruff of his scrotum. <laughs> That's what I do. I grab, <laughs> <laughs> I grab by the scrub of his scrotum and throw him across the floor. <laughs> oh, how much, much is that doggy in the window? Oh, oh, the one with the waggly tail. Oh, the waggly tail. I said, how much is that doggy in the window? Oh, oh, I do hope that. Doggies to stay. Well, I don't want a rabbit or a kitty. Meow, meow. I don't want a parrot that talks. Talking to me? I want a cracker. I don't want a bowl of little fishies. I don't want no blowfishy. No, you can't take a goldfish for a walk. I took a goldfish for a walk. I said, how much is that doggy? In a window, oh, oh, the one with the waggly tail, oh, the waggly tail. I said, how much is that doggy in a window? Oh, oh, I do hope that doggies will say. Because if he is, we're going to go get Roger Mellon. We're going to go walking in the sunshine, singing this sunshine song. Bobby, oh, Bobby, oh, boy, you're going to push my phone your face as if there's nothing wrong. Bobby, oh, Bobby, oh, boy, you're going to sing about a good time. Had a long time ago, you're going to sing about beginning about your worries, ain't you? Walking in the sunshine, singing this sunshine song. Oh, now you all go walking in the sunshine. Sing a little sunshine song. Don't you let me ever go any higher than G on that damn song. <laughs> Couldn't you tell that was way too high? All right, that's a really big old time ah. radio medicine show. Three chords and the truth. And that me yelling and screaming about that, that's part of the show. That's a, me, that's a school. So keep the cards and letters coming in, because that's where we get all our fancy ideas, and that's the big one of the big Halloween shows. What's it called? It's Halloween Tales. Yes, sir, Bob. We see you down at the um, in the Punny Papers, and uh, what was the other thing I always say? I already said that. All right. Okay. So and then have yourself a good old old Chibito Halloween. <laughs> 